Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading for the month of April. So, how are you guys feeling? Do you feel the energy shift coming? We just moved out of Pisces season and I know the Pisces is not the sign for Aquarius, okay? Like, the sun in Pisces is just uncomfortable for Aquarius souls. Um, but during like a mercury retrograde in Pisces during Pisces season is really intense so I just want to say that you guys you made it we're out of it it might be still be a little bit lingering on but because mercury is not direct yet as well but I just want to say I'm proud of you guys because it's not easy and things can get really cloudy and just very overwhelming and I just wanted to make sure that I let you guys know like I know how, how intense that season can be for you guys so yes I'm proud of you okay <laughs> um, Aquarius every season is here springtime is here if you're living in a place in a world where you know it's springtime right now Otherwise, you're in fall season right now, but let's focus on the most of the people, which is spring. I think that right now, Mercury retrograde going direct and springtime coming in, the equinox, and that just means that 2019 is now officially begun, okay? It can feel that January, February, March is like sort of an extended version of 2018. It's getting through the dark, darker days. It's getting through the cold, through the weather changes, and just releasing some of that energy. And I think that spring is about building up something new and allowing new energy to come in and have spring cleaning when it comes to your surroundings, yes, but also when it comes to your mind and your mindset your soul and the connection to it and um, opening up that heart chakra basically and letting new life happen right letting new things come in letting new things um, align with you and I feel that that's happening right now so April will be a much more productive month for you than March you're gonna start feeling the push already like a little bit right now before we're in april but i think during the month of april you really are start to see things certain things play out and certain doors open for you so that's very positive and um, aquarius i have this thing i want to talk to you guys about which i got through in my meditation but for some reason i feel this month is aries so aries likes it up front quick <laughs> like that and I feel that energy we just gotta sort of get some cards out let's talk uh, I'll share some of my meditation messages with you as well and um, we're just gonna go with the flow with this reading like I said Mercury is going direct within now in, the, in 24 hours so then we still have a little bit of a share of period going on but the energy is already a lot lighter okay Let's see. I'm going to get a goddess guidance that, uh, card for you guys. Oh, it takes a while. Oh, wow, it take a while. I was thinking. Um, yeah, no, I'm going to say it in a bit. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, Aquarius, come on, talk to me. What's the card for Aquarius for the month of April? Card for Aquarius, there we go. Wow, who wants to come out with the whole deck? It's a little <laughs> bit. That fire energy, right? Prosperity. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful card. The universe is pouring its abundance onto you. Be open to receive. Okay? Be open to receive, Aquarius. Don't block the blessings this month. Let them come in. Leave a little room for magic to play out. Not everything always is inside. Not everything is always on the logic. You know, it's always approachable with logic. Sometimes things just come in. You don't see them coming. And that's fine because it wasn't supposed to 
be something that you had to work for that you had to uh, be thinking about manifest and all of that it's something that just you know it's a payout for the good person you are the person you helped you get a payout for things like that and you just don't always see it coming but it's coming in okay so you see how they like sort of pour this onto you and yes abundance can mean coins okay and don't we all like some extra coins sometimes just just coming in just like to flow in that's everybody likes that you know but it's also abundance of feeling abundant feeling abundant with in your love relationship or feeling abundant with your single life right or feeling connected to the work that you do feeling abundant in your family situation, feeling loved, feeling appreciated, feeling accepted. And all of that is abundant. So basically you're getting, you know, a little extra this month. So be open for it. Don't question it. Just be open for it. Don't focus too much on it. What can it be? Where can it come from? Who, who will it be? It's about just being open. It's like whatever the universe got for me this month, I'm open to receive. And I'm just going to keep focusing on my own things, doing my thing, and keeping some room for good things to come in. How do you block your blessings, Aquarius, is with negative thinking. Nothing ever happens for me. You know, speaking like that, things don't just happen. You know, things don't just come to me in my life. My life doesn't work like that. Um, I'm... It's like, you know, it's like blocking your blessings with the way you communicate and the things you think and the things you say it's like being open for it basically but that's an, another topic that we can talk about for hours so we're not gonna okay not right now <laughs> just know that there's something nice coming in it's just feel that in your energy and just be open for it but be open to receive you can also practice this okay this is something personal to you and yourself just sit I don't know once a day just sit with yourself maybe the first five minutes you wake up just say universe I'm open to receive all the good things you got coming for me I'm open to receive just keep your hands open I'm open to receive all the blessings and things you got coming for me I'm open to receive I'm open to receive just keep saying it like two or three times and just move on go get your shower go to work all of that just take that moment and say listen universe I'm open to receive and it feels, it feels liberating. It feels like freeing. It does. If you do it a couple times, it just, it just, something happens. It's like an energy shift. You just feel something in your stomach or something, you know? As long as you keep your mind out of it, Aquarius, just, just a little practice. Just breathe in, breathe out a couple times and say, I'm open to receive. That's it. If you don't want to use the word universe, totally fine. Just say, I'm open to receive. And move on with your day. <laughs> That's how you keep your energy open a little bit, okay? Yeah. Let's get started with your reading, Aquarius. Wow. Bum. There you are. I told you we're going to feel better in April. Reconciliation, you see? Six of Cups. Oh, this is beautiful, Aquarius. This is beautiful. You're reconnecting with your higher self. And that's something I wanted to talk about because I wrote I wrote things down. Remember, uh, I just said that earlier on during meditation for this reading. And um, it was all about purpose. It's all about purpose. And... I just gonna get some cards out. Oh my god, is that the sun card? Yes, it is. I saw, <laughs> I saw a little piece of yellow. I was like, that cannot. That's wow, Aquarius. Okay, okay now. Okay now, that's beautiful. Oh, you guys deserve this break so much. Okay, you do. You really, 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 really do. Sorry, I'm just so very invested in my readings today. <laughs> you see, the Taurus, and Taurus wanted to come here with a Six of Cups, so. Yeah, 
Look, five of cups and the full card. That's your advice. Okay, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius. Wow. Now there's your blessing, okay? That's because you keep your energy open to receive. That's when you will receive. Oh, Lord. I was not expecting all of this. I love it, though. No, it's too many. Aquarius, month of April. Anything else that wants to come true for Aquarius? Aquarius, Aquarius. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. Okay, I cannot. Look at that. The four of wands as well. The three to the four. Make it move. So two things are moving. Wow. Now I know you may not feel like this right now. You're just like, oh well, just another reading. Mm. <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't know. It's not for me. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought that before, but the things didn't work out that way either. Because I know, I see it. But that's fine. It's either that or you already turned around and looked at the Two of Cups and like, whoa, I actually just need to. I don't need these Three of Cups. I need those two, and those are full. Have you ever tried to walk with three glasses in your hand? Like a tree like that. Well, how uncomfortable that is. It's like walking through like a club or walking through a bar or anything with a lot of people and the music and people moving and dancing and then walking with three glasses. That's hard. I mean, yes, you got three glasses, but it would, you would have felt much more comfortable at that moment with just two. Two are already a challenge, okay, to keep them full and to reach the part where you're actually standing with them actually still being full. <laughs> You know, it's like, oh, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, spinning some of some dresses and shit. Uh, shots. Yeah, this happens, you know, but that's the thing. Just imagine yourself walking through a club or anything like that with three glasses. That's not comfortable at all. Oh, oh something is happening. I got to fix it real quick. I saw it happening. I hope. It will stay, 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 okay? <laughs> anyway, um, and just know that if you can also pick and choose to just walk with two. Or maybe you tried walking with three and you ended up with three empty cups and all along, you know, it was better to start off with two full ones and end up with two full ones instead of three on the ground right it's like matter of what you want and what's actually comfortable for you we can want a lot we can want big we can want more because it's all about being and growing and you know evolving and getting more and but yet they always say like more money more problems but we all like to try and figure that out for ourselves but the thing is is that sometimes Having more business opportunities and more and more and more makes you actually a lot less confident and a lot less happy and fulfilled with the work that you actually love to do. Right? It's it's about knowing what is what is the right amount. I'm going way too deep into that. I'm sorry, it's still just a retrograde energy of just going with whatever. Because we've got such a good reading going on over here. Okay, look at that. Six of Wands, victory, success. No matter who's coming at you, you know exactly what you're what you're doing. The King of Wands, and then we have the Page of Wands. So, two people with the, you know, back to back. And I think that this is all about knowing what is for you, basically. 
I'm gonna get into that. We're gonna get one more card out and then we're gonna get into your reading. want to come out I'm like okay <laughs> beautiful look three of cups ace of wands another ace and then we have the knight of wands so we got the whole situation going over here we got the the the, the page the knight and the king so this transformation going happening okay now when it comes to love and connection with somebody i see this beautiful soul to soul connection okay this is not for all of my queries in this time because energy is very fluid but what's surrounding you guys most definitely for the ones that are you know reconciling with each other and um that are basically in a relationship and lost each other a little bit during past season because it just gets really confusing okay you don't know what you feel you don't know what the other person's saying it's just you know i feel that that is coming together so beautifully so so beautifully and i really see like a higher level of commitment some of you guys will move in together in month of april some of you actually gonna have the talk you know the talk <laughs> and that's so beautiful so keep going after that because the person that you are connecting with now is such a a beautiful connection could be could be any sign at this moment because they're all coming through in their own way and I don't want to pin it down too much to a sign but what I see is that yeah like I said it's like a higher level of commitment or it's like let me get one card one card yeah you see healing understanding each other on a deeper level and just i feel that there was a period of time where you guys were just really mirroring each other and then something that is you know it's it's like a past scar in you or something on the soul's on the deeper souls level that you still need to heal sometimes a person can trigger that in you and most definitely when dealing with a leo because it's your opposite sign so you guys are like instant mirror of each other and um that's why um leos and aquarius have always a very intense connection like when they connect they it's just it's never really like for a very long time very smoothly it just goes up like up and down and let's go left and right and and all of that <laughs> and then a long time nothing and then everything you know it's like that it's the, just whatever you want okay <laughs> it's whatever you're ready for but what i see with this is, is there's so much more peace coming to the union so when it comes to relationships um i really do see that there's like this next step it's like okay we worked through something we came out as a winner now we're going to set um set both our intentions and focus on um you know taking our, our union to the next level and you really are equal in it i feel um this is not for all of you like i said depends on where you're at but what i really do see this in the future energy it's like it's such a a union with so much so much potential if you're just both willing to work both willing to 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 uh, grow and evolve together so don't not trying to stay in the past too much not trying to think of 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 these last couple of weeks where you just weren't really really ready like really uh able to connect know that that's sometimes the energy and sometimes you just go through things that that doesn't always mean that the whole relationship is about to fall apart it's just sometimes the energy you got to work through and if you're willing to evolve out of it and let that let the past be the past 
and really commit to the new energy that's showing up and commit to each other again in a, in, in a higher level basically that's when you can grow and evolve and you and I, I see a lot of you guys doing that this month so I wanted to get that out see I see um yeah, I wanted to get that out because that's a very important message for some of you. You just really needed to hear that confirmation. So here, here's your confirmation. It's, it's out here on the table in 16 different ways. So yes. Then let's move on to what else is coming true for you guys. Because I see some of you guys are reconnecting to faith. This could be religion when it comes to, uh, I don't know, um, praying or anything like that, meditation. Could be more on a spiritual level, could be also more on uh, spiritual slash religual, religual? <laughs> yeah, religious level. <laughs> However that manifests for you, I do see you sort of reconnecting with that and it brings you this sense of, peace and that's very beautiful because I think that's what the the core essence should be of being um, for example like religion I love to see when people get strength and um, power and self-confidence and and faith out of that I love seeing that I really do because I think that's the essence of it uh, of course, there's this whole other side to it, which I'm not going to get into, but I think I think there's something in, in with you guys that you've sort of rediscovered within self. And that's very beautiful because I see that here with the High Priestess, and I see you sort of reconnecting with that older part of yourself, which instantly results you into feeling much more um, at peace. And... Just not feeling pressured by being patient. It's like sometimes when you have to be patient, then there's this, it, it can feel like a pressure. Like you almost have to hold your breath till it's all gonna be all right again. And you just wanna know. If you know that 100% somebody tells you, calls you, like, listen, within two months, everything's gonna be fine. And then hangs up. It's like, okay, now I know, two months, I'm good. I can hold my breath two months, that's fine. But what do I have to hold my breath and it's, I don't know how long it's going to be. Maybe it's like two years. I don't know if I can do that. Can I do that? And it's like, you know, it goes on and on and on. And I feel like you find that more reinsurance within self. It's like feeling way more comfortable with being patient and what patience actually holds. And feeling much more uh, self-confidence in that, you know, it's like yes you know things don't really show up yet uh, i haven't really received my payout or i haven't really received uh you know that confirmation or anything but it doesn't mean that i just have to sit here and let life happen to me i still have these parts in myself that i can work on i still have power in my own life i still have my free will and my freedom of speech and freedom of all those things right um which i can work on while you know things are you, you know get worked on behind the scenes i don't have to feel miserable necessarily because something hasn't picked up yet i control my own smile i control my own tears you still always will have that power and i feel that because you are sort of seeing that and that plays out you feel much more comfortable with whatever comes comes in whatever flows will flow you know i still have i have parts of of that i do control and i i do you know, that's really what I'm hearing. It's like, but I do control this actually. Like this doesn't always just has to be in other people's hands. And I'm really claiming that. That's not you to decide. That's not for you to decide, you know, how I feel about that. Let me just take that back. I got this, okay? And and you know what? I put my personal power over here as well. Like that's not for you to keep either. Let me get, get let me get that back because then I feel way more peace with that. It's like really reclaiming things that are actually have always been yours and your tools in this life and you sort of place them with other people. It's like, no, wait, hold up. This is not, you know, or just way of thinking, you know, and freeing yourself up from that. That doesn't mean that every single day you have to master that 
you know you can have days where you feel a little bit like you're you know a little bit less in control or um, less aware or something like that it doesn't mean that you have to put yourself down for that it's like no I'm just having a bad day and bad days happen and that's totally fine I don't have to put myself down for that and keep reminding myself of all the times and all the days I had let myself get to that point no it's like today's is not my day let me focus on something that makes me laugh let me focus on something that makes me you know feel good or or or, or uh, reset my energy and if I'm not capable of resetting my energy resetting my mindset this day then that's totally fine and because you give it less power of the fact you're having a bad day, having a bad moment, not feeling in control, it doesn't really control you that much anymore because you're like, no, but that's fine. That happens. It doesn't define my life. It doesn't define my pathway. It doesn't define my process. It doesn't. It just is a day. It's an energy. I'm flowing with it, not working against it, and just going with that. So what I'm getting for for you, Aquarius really interesting actually well i found it interesting <laughs> i don't know about you guys i don't know if you find it all that interesting it's like this girl talks way too much okay mm. but i know that if i can talk with uh with a sign for a lot you know and some some sign that can really pick up on a lot of um information in a short period of time it's you guys so okay <laughs> Anyway, beautiful energy. Like I said, maybe a recon uh, reconnection to fate or anything it has to do with that on a spiritual level, which I love seeing. Um, as long as it's not an outside source, you feel like, oh, something else is giving me that confidence or confidence or something. It's like something you find within yourself, you know. Um, now I want to talk about purpose, okay? Because that's what I got during meditation. And that's what's coming in through your reading in such a beautiful way. A, a big part of this life, or any life, any lifetime you live, you have a sense of purpose in this life. And that's different for everybody. And I think the search for purpose and like, what is my purpose here? What am I supposed to do? Has a lot to do with how anything makes you feel. You know, and something you naturally go towards. I don't necessarily think that everybody has a purpose when it comes to like, okay, you're supposed to be this uh, really big guru and all of that and you have to you know get so many followers and you have to do this and that's your purpose now it's about sometimes it's about learning something about yourself and applying something actively in your own life so other people can pick up on it and they and you actually it's sort of a ripple effect you know and that was all along was your purpose you go through that struggle you evolve you become and you embody and you inspire by just embodying it and then all along your purpose was actually to become that. And for everybody it's different, right? But what I do think is that we can trick, not, we can trick a lot of things. We can fake a lot of things. We can actually um, get, um, get sort of sucked in by so many things, okay? Our mind can trick us, okay? Our mind can tell us all kinds of things and we actually believe it. And that's for you guys. Like your mind, once it once it starts to work against you, it can make you go all kinds of cray. Because I'm just saying, like not that you're crazy or anything. It's just like there's once your mind starts to work against you, it's so hard to reclaim their power and to really feel a sense of purpose or a sense of fulfillment on a soul's level because your mind is so strong right so i think a big part of of every aquarius soul basically in this lifetime is finding a way of working letting your mind work for you and letting it help you evolve because once you master that you can do anything basically um I want to make sure I get this message out in the right way and I don't just lose you along the way. <laughs> um, 
like I said, we can fake a lot of things. We can adapt a lot of things. I'm not saying like we're being fake or anything. It's just like we can believe and adapt a lot of ways in life and a lot of beliefs in life because that's what we get fat. That's what we get. Um, that's what we see. That's what we keep throwing at us. It's like, for example, social media and stuff like that. It's like, it just, it, there's a lot of beautiful sides to social media and to the internet. It just is, there's just beautiful, there's a lot of beautiful sides to it. But what is also very aware, like very there, out there, is that we get, we see people with, with material things. We see people with amount of, um, followers or amount of this amount of likes and everything is just about that and it's like you see somebody online right and they just look really happy with this thing they got or this is really happy with the the the, the, um, the amount of followers or anything they build up and it's just what you see so you're like okay that's kind of sort of what you gotta gain to be able to feel as happy as that person looks right it's not it, it i'm just breaking it down <laughs> to make it look you know as as easy as possible as out there but that goes way deeper you know of course there's like many levels to that but you can't you can't fake purpose you can't fake um fulfillment you can't trick yourself in that because we can tell ourselves we we want that and, and because we see somebody so happy with something and anything it doesn't have to do with social media it could be your neighbor with a certain car it could be to be uh, a person with a tarot channel or anything like that it's we see a person in their purpose or in their fulfillment and we think oh that is what makes you happy and you get that you gain that you apply that you have that in your life it just, just doesn't feel so fulfilled you're just like but 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 I just don't feel that it's fulfilling. What was this whole hype about, yo? <laughs> you know? It's because it wasn't for you. And I think that we can trick ourselves. We can let our minds trick us so long, you know? We can tell ourselves, this is what we need to make, you know, to be happy. This is what we... Uh, because this everybody got this so I guess you know this is what it where it's at a lot of money a lot of this a lot of that a lot of just, you know it's just a lot um, not negative necessarily but when it comes to you feeling fulfilled you feeling the Sun you knowing that these two cups are here for you for you to be, to receive that you feel like hey this is my purpose this is my blessings now things just coming in i feel fulfilled to be able to feel that that's where it takes that only your purpose takes you there aquarius i'm not saying you can't be happy you have moments of feeling good feeling aligned and all of that i'm not, I'm not saying that you can't have those moments but to to really feel it on a soul's level and f and that passion you feel for something is your purpose but your mind's gonna tell you yeah but that's not possible yeah but that's not for me yeah but i i don't know how to do that it's your mind it's telling you like listen i know you have this purpose i know what will make you happy i know what your fire what what lights up your fire that doesn't mean that the whole world has the same type of fire that's your purpose that's your thing that's your soul saying listen this is it this is what i need to go this is what i need to be doing and your mind's gonna say like yeah but that doesn't make any sense <laughs> why do you think you can even have that or why do, why do we want to go there it doesn't make any sense you got this whole career build up you're like the king or or do you got this whole thing set up you've worked for this you went to school for that for years and years or you worked in this field for so many years and what do you mean you just want to leave your throne and your stability and your comfort level and this household to become a page again because of purpose you feel you got to it's like your mind because Aquarius you, you you yes you have been manifesting well people have manifest themselves into your life that tell you what your mind thinks and believes so there are a lot of people that over the years did got to you even though you can't tell an Aquarius nothing once they really want something yet they 
it's in certain moments they can do get to you and you adapt their belief systems and you adapt their fear if you tell yourself long enough or let somebody tell you long enough you're not gonna that's not for you that's not what you're supposed to do that's not ever gonna work that's never gonna work you're not good enough you're not good enough at one point you're gonna start believing in it and yeah you can walk the pathway that your mind allows you to walk go walk it i mean it's your life i'm just saying it's never gonna make you that happy that if you follow the pathway your purpose is the soul what the soul wants what your passion is their passion doesn't have to make it doesn't it's not always the logic thing to do but in the end of the day you're always gonna know that was it you always gonna remember that moment like that was the moment everything changed i lost everything in that moment yet i gained it all like i lost nothing basically even though i lost all physical things but I gained so much more. And I can build things back up from that point of view. And I feel this is this, this switch moment of like, I don't have to chase what you're chasing because that's not for me. And you can spend years and years to chase all of that. You can spend, you can go. Like I said, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, Aquarius. It's your life. I just wanna know that, I just want you to know is it, and that if you choose that pathway, don't be surprised if you never feel that free. And if you settle with that, totally fine. Like I said, it's your life. If you feel more secure like that, then go and do that. Just know that don't chase it to be able to feel fulfilled. Fairly, truly fulfilled on a deeper source level, I'm talking about really feeling connected 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 on like a deeper level i'm not saying like you can't you will have find happiness in that other pathway you will yes but you got to find the right reasons for it why would you do it not to find fulfillment true soul fulfillment true purpose you got to find that in other parts of your life then because that pathway is not it and it's up to you to decide are you ready to become a page for a little bit to leave this throne. Because there's resistance there. Aquarius is a resistance there. Yeah. The resistance there. There's also a fire sign that's not so happy with you being happy and good and good things into your life. Sorry, I just gotta say it. Do you know who it is? That person is just not happy to see you that happy, okay? Good. <laughs> um, that's our own problem they gotta work with that but you deserve good things coming for you and it's coming to you I'm not saying that if you um, I just don't want you to chase something that is empty okay like you're thinking okay I just gotta chase this and become that because then I'm in my purpose then, then then I'm gonna feel fulfilled you know because that's the thing if you walk a different pathway okay that's totally fine you know you can find a lot of beautiful things on a pathway as well but if you really want to connect to your purpose if you really want to feel fulfilled don't chase other people's purposes it's about yours is it something different for you and I just want you to open up as much as possible when it comes to the mind to allow yourself to walk that pathway, even though it doesn't always make sense. Even though other people don't see that dream, don't dream that dream, don't see the sense don't in it, because it's not supposed to, it's not their life, it's not their purpose, it's not their pathway. Otherwise, everybody would be walking that pathway if it would make all that much sense. But like I said, if you can convince your own mind to allow this to happen, and to allow your own mind to make it let, let it make sense you let your mind start to apply itself in this pathway in this new beginning that's when you got you are on the winning spree okay that's when magic happens because if you no longer let your mind be the ones that stop you the one that keeps you there the ones that um you know uh, makes you believe that it's not gonna happen if you can allow your soul to be the guidance and help and 
let your mind be the backpack basically that you're taking with you you know and it holds all the tools and the things you might gonna need along this pathway that's the way to work right now your mind could be the shackles you know around your your uh, around your uh, wrists and your ankles that keeps you stagnant that's what the mind does for you it's like no we're gonna stay here but it can also become the key that unlocks it it's you you this you decide you know and and be patient with that process of that switching because it's not easy to change that mindset at all at all so wow Aquarius a powerful reading I know that this like I said anything just comes to me when it comes to you guys I know I can speak a lot or not at all <laughs> when it comes to the reading but damn you got something good coming for you and I'm so happy because you guys really do deserve it you know guys I love you guys I really do so I just want you guys to um, to not forget to have fun in life as well. Try and have a, lot, a couple moments in this coming month, in this coming season that just are there just because of the fact you just want to have fun. Try and have some more fun. The more laughs and, and in the present moment moments you will find, the quicker the blessings are are streaming in the universe works way quicker if you're having fun along the way that's why purpose feels so fulfilling because it just is like i'm doing something and the payout comes because i'm doing having so much fun doing what i'm doing you know it's a uh, way lighter energy you're sending out to the universe and response to that so You got beautiful things coming to you. Um, it's just going to be an amazing month for you guys. So enjoy it. Enjoy yourself. And um, I hope to see you guys next month. Thank you, Aquarius. I love you guys to the moon and beyond. Okay. <laughs> and I'll see you in May. Probably April. Somewhere like that. Okay. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.